Okay, before I begin this video, I'm just going to get this out of the way because I'm sure you're going to be seeing this a lot throughout the course of the day. Yes, it is 420. Yes, there's going to be a lot of marijuana related jokes that you see. No, I don't have any, nor do I not want to do any of them. Thank you. Now then, on to the low high and active kindness. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So I was, uh, that was weird. Anyway, let's see. Um, uh, what was my low? Well, my low was I just got a late start to this morning. And literally, I do this. I wanted to do it, doing this a lot, but it's just always so silly when it happens. Sometimes when I take a shower and, you know, I'm cleaning myself off, I obviously, you know, wash my armpits, you know, soap and water. I wash my armpits, but for whatever reason, I forget to rinse them and then dry them. So, I had to get back in the shower after I dry it off and, you know, you know, do that. I mean, it sort of attributed to, it contributed to a later start today, I guess. But that's, um, I mean, yeah, at least, hey, at least I'm showing that I'm keeping clean, guys. I mean, I care about my grooming for this, for making these videos. Of course I do. About shaving today. I think it's pretty good. Anyway, uh, oh, oh, is my high? Uh, um, gosh, what was my high? Did I think good? I'm sure something good happened. Just got, just got to think of it. Um, I don't know. I guess like. I had a pretty decent dinner last night. I got myself a couple of, I got myself a rotisserie chicken from, uh, the Nears. Uh, that was really good for dinner. I mean, rotisserie chicken's always, let's be honest, rotisserie chicken is gonna be good pretty much everywhere you go. I mean, yeah, if you like go to YouTube and look at the mash videos, like, store bought rotisserie chickens, like, from where any worse at first. And so, like, Walmart is near the bottom. Like, I've had Walmart rotisserie chicken. I don't know what you're complaining about. It really ain't that bad. I mean, I guess from what I remember they complained about, they complained about, like, it's a good price, but it's a fairly small bird. Which, that's fair, but, hey, if it's that good a price, then you can get two of them. Think of it that way. Get leftovers. That'd be nice, right? Anyway, um, what else is there? Uh, that's really about it. So I had a pretty decent dinner. And for, oh, I also had like some, I also made myself some fries to go with it. Because, you know, I got myself a little convection oven for, like, you know, fries. That was really good. And what was my kindness? Um, well, my act of kindness is, uh, normally there's someone who goes and, Travels with my grandmother a lot, but they're actually on vacation this week, so throughout the course of this week, I'm gonna have to be the one to uh, be my grandmother's chauffeur, which, that's fine. I do stuff like that all the time anyway, so, yeah. My act of kindness was I uh, chauffeured my grandma. Probably gonna be the act of kindness for the man this week, though, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, good morning. And happy Tuesday, everybody. Yes, it is Tuesday. We... I'll tell you what, I am feeling a little bit better from yesterday, in my opinion. I think, oh, of course, it's my feelings, and therefore my opinion would kind of kind of go hand in hand here. Um, I mean, yesterday I really was sort of feeling sort of the, the you know, the Monday blues, just simply because... Sunday didn't quite end on the happiest of notes for me. Oh, not that it was bad, just, you know, I want my turkey dinner. Tell you what, though, my mom owes me something good when she gets back from seeing her, seeing her mom in Las Vegas. Because it'll be like 10 o'clock Saturday night, so. We gotta get some guns, Sunday. Oh, oh. Oh, man. It's such a good job, like, it's so weird, whenever I go to bed, I always, I went to bed 
fairly early. I think it was like, uh, what time did I go to bed too? Hmm. I know for a fact it was, I think I might have been in bed by nine or something. And like, for some reason, I just feel like I can never fully get out of bed in the morning. Especially when, for sure, I got like almost a full eight hours of sleep. Maybe nine hours at that point. I don't know. I, don't know, I guess they did such a good job. I just don't really, um, I guess I just don't really notice that. You know, I don't really know why. This is actually something I thought about. I don't know why. But recently, I've been, like, listening to a lot of Disney music. But not just any Disney music. No, no. Not like the, from the, uh, like Beauty and the Beast or, or Aladdin and stuff like that. The kind of Disney music I've been listening to are songs that are promoting, like, movies, be they in the theater or Disney Channel original movies. Like, after, like, so many years, I finally found, um, Over It by uh, Annalise Vanderpool that was promoting uh, Stuck in the Suburbs. I remember really liking that movie, actually. And while I was on it, I also remember uh, Jesse McCarthy said, um, had the song Good Life. I got that song on my iPod, too. That was pretty cool. Um... I got several songs from Phineas and Ferb. I got uh, the theme song. I got uh, Busted. I got Ain't Got Rhythm. Those are really good songs. Um, what else did I get? I also got... Um, actually, I think... Actually, um, that reminds me. I just realized. I know I have more than one song for uh, from uh, Bowling for Soup. And it just hit me. Bowling for Soup did the theme song to Phineas and Ferb, and they also did Melt With You, which promotes Sky High. Yeah, I know it's not the original, but Sky High came out when I was a kid, and I actually really liked that movie. That's a good movie. And so, obviously, I had to get that song. Um, I got the... Uh, some some songs I got when they uh, promoted... Uh, well, I know... The Phineas and Ferb songs from the show. But I got the, uh, the 2017 version of DuckTales. I really like that version too. I mean, I think... I mean, let's be honest. The DuckTales... One of these days I really should get into talking about DuckTales 2017. Because the series just ended a couple weeks ago. I should talk about that. Because I really did like that show. I remember the theme song really got me hyped. For sure. Um... One of the best theme songs. One of the best theme songs I heard in a long time. Uh, it's my world, and we're all gonna live it, which is a theme, which is a theme song to uh, Milo Murphy's Law, which is performed, which is performed, sung, and the lead, and the lead character is voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. So that's another Disney Channel related song I like. I don't know. I've just been really good about listening to those songs recently. I mean, I'm gonna be listening to a whole bunch of songs. Like, here's the thing. This is sort of why, yeah. Oh, excuse me. I had for later on this year because I always kind of wanted to film myself, like, just sort of listening to, uh, you know, good music, specifically in my car going to a uh, Cuckoo Lake because. For my apartment to Cuckoo Lake, I've actually clocked it before. It's 55 minutes, so just under an hour. And that's with no stops, of course. There's a lot, there's quite a few good songs I could listen to from beginning to end. In fact, I thought about doing like several kinds of themes with that sort of thing. Like, well, I just talked about Disney. Let's be honest. There's so many great Disney songs. I would need more than one sort of video to, you know, film them all. Plus, if I put them on shuffle, 
that makes things even worse because if I leave it on shuffle, listening to music, leave it, leave it on shuffle going up to like one week, then listen to music at any time, you know, after the fact, and then go back up to the lake again, it's possible you hear the song more than once. So that's one problem I have with shuffle. Um, yeah, yeah, honestly, in this case, I'd be better off just like sort of randomly picking the order and sort of going with it. Just because, again, at least you wouldn't hear the song more than once. But again, there, there's a lot of Disney songs. Holy cow. That's like, that's like an Alice in Wonderland rabbit hole number of songs. Holy cow. I wouldn't even know where to start. Well, I guess I have some idea where to start. You know, fun fact for you. The very first, when you think about it, for a lot of people, and way back when, the very first Disney song may very well have been High Hope from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I know since Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the very first anime movie Disney made, High Ho being the first Disney song, or claiming that it's the first Disney song, may not be out of the realm of possibility. Just a, just a thought. You can sort of, you know, take that what you will. Other themes I would definitely do, if I were to do these car rides, well, there'd be theme maybe by decade, genre. There would dep. I'm definitely trying to work on one for Broadway. Oh, believe me. I found a good, found a couple good ones from Broadway. In fact, you could say one particular song is so incredibly wicked, it's quite popular. Sort of, uh, give you a hint for that one right there. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I love that song. Ever since I heard the Freshman Women's Chorale do it when I was a junior in high school at Horse Heads or Pops, I love that song. I don't know why either. It's like, you know what? It's like Cartman listening to Sail Away. Like, he hears the beginning of Sail Away and he just has to finish the song. That's me with that song. I don't want to say the name because, you know... I literally just gave it away. Don't know why. Don't know why. Uh, it's not hard to figure out. Um, I would do one on uh, theme songs. You know, for television shows. I just talked about It's Gonna Be a Great Day for a Phoenix and Verb. That'd be on there. It's My World and We're All Living It. That's a theme song. That's an intro song. The theme from Kid Cosmic I got. Yes. Man, Kid Cosmic was an awesome, Kid Cosmic was an awesome show. I'm sure there's a few others I could probably get. I would need to... I don't know. It'd be very interesting to see what, um, what I do from there. Uh, I mean, I have some time to mull it over. You know, I have, um, you know, let's see, this week. So two weeks left. I mean... I'm going to be heading up to the lake around, um, excuse me, uh, I sort of burped a little bit there. I, actually, the thought, the thought just occurred, after the class and sessions videos are over, it would be a great way to sort of, sort of kick off something different. Of course, I can only be from, oh, right. So I actually only had like five, maybe six weeks of class and session videos. I think I may have had one too many this time. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to legitimately see about that. Um, that's really about it. Unfortunately, we're in a very sort of dull part of the week where nothing's going on. All we have is like the mass singer. And that's on Wednesday. Nothing's really on Thursday. And unfortunately, I just learned this the other day. Oh, screen went dark. There we go. Oh. Yeah. My eye looks like it's really dark right here. Anyway, um, America's Got Talent's not coming back until June 1st, which 
Oh, Lord, that's a long way away. And, well, you know, see? I told you there wasn't going to be any marijuana jokes. Or, in this case, marriage you don't want. Okay, I got one in there. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and follow me on your social platforms, follow me on YouTube. I'm never home in this video for all of you guys watching Joe for today. We'll be a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, if you guys want to talk to me, I'm going to be here to lend you an answer to your back. Take care, and make good choices. See ya.